Hello everyone, this is Sammy Chase here with a Funko Pop review. Today I have the DC Legion of Collectors exclusive original Nightwing to show you guys, also known as Disco Nightwing. So without further ado, let's get him out of the box and check him out. Where do I start? Well, first off, I am very happy to have an original appearance Funko Pop. I absolutely love these. I already have the Cyborg one which I think is amazing. They did a great job with Cyborg, but not so much with Nightwing. One thing, they did the original male Funko stance, which they did with every male Funko at the beginning. And I just, I hate this pose. It's like an awkward squatting with your arms sticking out. It just, I don't see people regularly standing in this pose and I really don't know why they would go back to that when it comes to the flying Grayson. I feel like they should have and could have done a much better job with executing this Funko Pop in just the pose and mold alone. But then on top of it, they did a really shabby paint job which really disappoints me. Because, I mean, my boyfriend's a huge Nightwing fan, and I'm a huge Teen Titans fan, and Nightwing was first revealed in the Teen Titans comic books. So, I don't know, it's, I guess it's kind of just bites across the field. Like, it's cool that they made him. I just wish that they made him well. And hopefully whatever original look Teen Titans they come out with in the future, such as Starfire, Raven, Changeling, or his first appearance as Beast Boy, even I'd love a Wonder Girl. All these different characters, I just hope they execute them well and not like they did with this guy. Before I give him a rating, I want to show you guys just how bad the paint job on this Funko Pop really is. So for the whole hairline, it's either outside the line or inside the line. There's some faded business right here in the front for everyone to see, even within this package. In the back, like the whole thing's outside the line. And then there's these random light blue lines on the back of his head because, you know, people can't control their paintbrushes apparently. And then there's his suit, the light yellow and blue paints have no consistency at all. They're faded funny, they're all outside the lines. And then there's even this ugly mispainted seam. Like it looks so bad, it's like blue. Why did they paint it blue? I don't know. I feel like this Funko is very sloppy and rushed and also primitive. I wish that they would have done a better job with them. That being said, I'm giving him a 3 out of 10 rating. They get points for ideas, creativity. I love that they did the 1980s Nightwing. And also, they actually did a really good job on the mold for his hair, I think. But other than that, they did a very shabby job. And it's disappointing. I mean, I'm happy to have him in my collection because of what he means to me in the comics and stuff and what he means to my boyfriend. But if it wasn't for the character for who he was, I'd don't think we'd be keeping him. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have not yet, hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all my new videos. And I'll see you guys later.